So I just got done seeing Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, and here are my thoughts. Yes, I went and saw a double feature tonight. I went and saw, which is crazy, double feature, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2, and Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I uh, didn't see it this past weekend, but I got to see it tonight. I was like, let me let me go check this out uh, because I was hearing mixed things. I was so excited to see this movie, seeing you know Bill Murray back, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, uh, Annie Potts, uh, all the originals. And, and it seemed like they were getting more screen time in this one than they did in Afterlife. And I did like Afterlife, okay? So, but I feel like Ghostbusters has went Disney, okay? That's that's how much, and, and you know, and I don't want to hate on this movie. I really, really don't want to hate on this movie. I am trying not to. And, it, and, and it's not a horrible movie. I could see kids still liking this. Uh, but there's a, not a lot to chew on here. For veterans, for for people that are that are uh, go fans of the original Ghostbusters and that type of humor that they brought to that, um, there it, it felt like something was missing in this. But there was a lot going on. Does that make sense at all? Uh, there's a lot of characters going on here. Paul Rudd does great. Uh, he's one of the best parts of the movie. Uh, but everyone gets so much little screen time because they have to jump between so many characters and it feels just like clips after clips after clips and it's all put together and even if you like scrambled them all up and put them in a different order it would still feel like the same movie besides the climax you know the climax is the climax and we're going to get to that climax here in a minute because i got some thoughts but the rest of the movie just feels how, how can i put this into words mm, soulless I feel like the movie's a little soulless, and I don't think that was the original idea. I just think there's too many cooks in the kitchen here, and 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 it shows. You know, it it, it, it there there's like a certain layer of this, like even like the way the ghosts look. It's a little cartoony. Maybe they took some inspiration from the Ghostbusters cartoon, and I was a big fan of those too whenever I was younger. Uh, but but as far as like people that are like looking for that type of humor. Uh, that that the original or even the Ghostbusters 2 had or even the heart of Ghostbusters Afterlife, you're not really going to find that here. It, all those aspects are kind of missing here. There, Yeah, there's a little comedy, you know, sprinkled in here and there, but it's not like comedy comedy. It's kind of like, uh, it's like forced comedy a little bit. It kind of feels, like I said, like a little Disney-esque. I feel like that they're getting a little... A little uh, uh, too light-hearted with it. Uh, I kind of want them to go in like at le you don't have to go into like a dark, dark approach to it, which that would be cool. But there was certain there's a certain level of darkness in the first movie and even the second movie where the villains were kind of evil and there was even like some uh, uh, sexual innuendo type of jokes that only adults would get. In this one, you don't really get that too often. And a lot of these characters you really don't care about. I feel like it's really over bloated. And, but, you know, the movie made a lot of money. So who am I to say what I'm saying right now? Because apparently a lot of people like this movie. Uh, we'll probably get another one. Um, I love that, you know, like the direction that it does go into. Whenever I saw like Frozen Empire and we saw like the it's another Ice Age or whatever, you really don't get that until like the last 15 minutes of the movie. And it feels like it's here and then it's done. I feel like the climax is the weakest part. It felt shoehorned in. It felt like it was like, all right, we need to wrap this up. And even when it does get wrapped up, it feels soulless. It's like, hold on, we're done? No, I needed a little bit extra here. And it's just like, no, it might, there might, there'll probably be a second, or not a second one, but another one. But the way it ends, it just kind of ends like, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know they were trying to do a lot of like nostalgia with the first movie and they did do it. It just, it didn't have that feel. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? That magical feeling in cinema that I feel like a lot of movies are missing. I, I, there's certain things of certain movies back in the past that, that they just can't capture that magic or that feel in the new films. Perfect example. I just thought about it. Bring all the OG characters back for Jurassic World Dominion. When they brought Dr. Grant back and everybody, it felt soulless. There was something missing about it. Even though it was great to see these characters on screen again, it didn't feel the same. It didn't feel... Like, we could tell it wasn't the same director 
or writers or composers or whatever the hell is missing out of this movie or even editors. You know, that's a big part because the editing is very fast paced in this movie. It's like things don't linger long enough. They're just kind of like jumping from here and then there and everything's just moving like like from scene to scene to scene to scene to scene. And and, and it just feels very Disney-esque. That's all I can. That's I, I don't I don't know what else to say. I feel nothing from this movie. I'm fucking numb. <laughs> uh, it's not a horrible movie. I can see a lot of people getting enjoyment out of this, but it just wasn't what I wanted seeing all the uh, returning cast coming back. And uh, I felt like they could have done more with that climax. You know, I didn't really like that, how, where it even took place. It was just kind of like it was there and then it was done. And uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what, you're, what y'all think. Full review in on my YouTube channel, Destination Station. Link is in my bio. Uh, let me know what you think about this movie. Are you on board with me or uh, you feel like this was uh, amazing? <laughs> let me know. Uh, all right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out!